While the world is lauding the exploits of Nozomi Okuhara, there is another player from the land of the rising sun who is also coming of age. She is Akane Yamaguchi, and the 19-year-old is fast becoming a force to be reckoned with in women's singles. Last year, the right-hander made her Olympic debut in Rio. In the World Super Series events that followed, Yamaguchi created headlines after she walked away with back-to-back -back titles, the Victor Korea Open and the Yonex Denmark Open. The Japanese shuttler finished the year at a career high of number seven in the world rankings. Yamaguchi traced her 2016 journey and gave us a glimpse into her New Year resolutions when Badminton Unlimited sat down with the young shuttler at the recent Dubai World Super Series Finals. In each of the matches, I was able to play the way I wanted to. What contributed to the good result was that I enjoyed playing each game. I believe my strength is that I enjoy playing and I'm able to do that at tournaments. Back in 2013, the 16-year-old Yamaguchi was thrown into the limelight after she ended Japan's 32-year wait for a home title in the women's solo event when she won her first senior crown at the Yonex Open Japan. A rising talent, the Asia Junior Champion and two-time World Junior Champion was twice awarded the prestigious Eddie Chung Most Promising Player of the Year. However, it would take Yamaguchi a further three years before she claimed another senior title. And it was the experience in Rio that gave her the motivation she needed to take the next step. In the first half of 2016, I was not at my best. I did not play well. But right before the Olympics, I started to play better. My game improved. Although I lost at the Olympics, I felt that I gave all I had. I did my best. Since I did my best and I still lost, I knew that I'm not at that level yet. There was a lot of work to be done. There are many areas I needed to improve on. After the Olympics, many players took a little break, but I did not as I wanted to continue to train. I was able to have a bit more training than others. Perhaps these extra sessions and the extra time spent helped me win two titles. The extra work she put in certainly helped her sensational run. At the Korea Open, the seventh seed eliminated teammate Minatsu Mitani in the semis to set up a final showdown with defending champion and home favorite Sung Ji Hyun. The much taller Korean was ground down by Yamaguchi's persistence and relentless pursuit of winners. Oh. <laughs> what a rally! <laughs> I gave all I had. I was playing very aggressively. I lost the first game, but I knew I had to stay mentally strong. So I continued to play an attacking game. I think my opponent must have hated that. Yamaguchi turned giant killer once again in Odense. At the Denmark Open, she defeated her senior, Nozomi Okuhara, in the quarters and overcame Olympic champion Carolina Marin in the semi-finals after battling for more than an hour. In the final, Yamaguchi matched Taizuing's trickery with her own brand of patient badminton and frustrated her Chinese Taipei opponent. She's an all-rounder. She can produce a variety of shots, and many times I fell for her disguised shots. But I stayed patient and showed that I was able to chase down her shots, however tricky they were. Eventually, I started to return her tricky shots, which must have pressured her and that led her to make errors. So I think it was good that I was patient and was able to retrieve and return her shots, and that I didn't give up. Patience is perhaps Yamaguchi's greatest virtue. She favors waiting for the right time to retaliate and eventually runs down her opponents. The figure of calmness on court belies the aggression she'll unleash, often earning cheers and admiration throughout the stadium. Although there's no shortage of her talent on court, there's perhaps one thing her fans are eager to witness. 
Yamaguchi's victory celebration or lack of it. <laughs> well, it's not that I'm trying not to show my emotions, but I'm just not that type of person, and I'm not brave enough to do so. Maybe I'm also a bit embarrassed and shy, so I really can't do it. Maybe when I get used to winning, I'll be able to be more expressive and celebrate when I win. <laughs> there will certainly be more opportunities for the teenager to overcome her shyness. 2017 looks to be an exciting year for Akane Yamaguchi. Hailing from the city of Katsuyama, the 19-year-old has come a long way. Once seen as a prodigy honing her skills at the junior level, she is now competing and showcasing her talent on the international elite circuit. But with all the attention she is currently receiving, Yamaguchi is cautiously optimistic and she is in no rush to top the podium. I'm still young, so I'm treating each game as a challenge. I try to give all I have on the court. I don't want to hold anything back. I will do my best and fight for every point, regardless of the outcome. I just want to give my 100%. In 2017, I want to constantly make it to at least the quarterfinals or the semi-finals at each tournament that I play. And I hope that by doing well, my name will be known to everyone. And I hope to gain supporters all over the world. There's certainly more to come from Akane Yamaguchi, and we look forward to reading her name in the headlines. Badminton Unlimited wishes the young titan from Japan all the best for 2017.